argument for keeping drugs illegal is the harm they can do. Drugs, I'm not a big woohoo, let's take drugs type person. Drugs can be incredibly dangerous and negative. What I'm saying is making them illegal isn't working. It doesn't work. It doesn't prevent people from using drugs. I'm talking that about... It didn't prevent you. No, no, it made absolutely no difference. I think uh, no difference at all. I think Except we... presume you lived in fear of, at some point, possibly running up against the law. It complicated the situation and it made it more difficult to approach the situation for what it is legitimately, a disease which requires therapy and, com and compassion not to be pushed underground and controlled by illegal economies. So, yeah, John, in my particular case, what would have helped is regulation and therapy. I'm not talking about let's have a free-for-all, some crazy whacked-out world where everyone's on drugs. I'm saying that drugs should be of pharmaceutical quality, they should be controlled and prescribed and not part of a, a huge uh, sort of a criminal... Economy. OK, so to that end, you have a campaign which focuses on what? Caroline Lucas, the MP, the Green Party MP, has proposed that there's a full debate and investigation into UK drug policy. Along with Avaz, the online uh, campaigning website, we've got over 100,000 signatures. That's what's required for it to be debated in Parliament. The debate is already going to happen. You're already. asking them then, a whole lot of politicians, who you say young people shouldn't vote for, yeah. to determine what should happen to drug policy. Well, this could end up being a, yet another example of why politics isn't representative, because we already know now that there's a mandate. We already know there's a consensus. We know that politicians know that drug laws aren't working. We know that the people of this country want reform around drug laws, and yet it hasn't changed. Well, I well, think well that, do we? Do we? Has it yeah, really absolutely. been tested? Uh, yeah, I think so, mate. There's been pretty thorough like, reports around it, like 66% of Conservative voters, 69% of Labour voters, 61% of Daily Mail readers okay, want drug you... laws changed. So there's, yeah, a huge mandate. And this survey, mate, you know, like, we got 100,000 signatures in like 24 hours. Yeah, but, I, yeah, I came on here yeah, to yeah, promote yeah, but you're it, asking people and to we don't even need to promote yeah, it you're, anymore. You're, it happens you're, so quickly. You're, you're asking, I don't even need to be here. <laughs> no, but you're asking people to sign up mm. to a petition yes. that then MPs that you do not want them to vote for are going to have to debate. Yes, that's right. Well, how does that work? Because what I'm not interested in the power of politicians. I'm interested in the power of people. I'm interested in representing people. This does represent the views of people. 100,000 people in no time at all have signed this petition. But Russell, there's, they a, there's, it. there's a confusion here. There's not you confusion, You said John. don't vote to young people. You said I, I Russell Brand, have never voted. I never right? will be. Yeah, John, I'm, but, but, I but, maintain but, this. But therefore, you're asking people you don't people want people to mm -hmm. vote for yes, that's right. to determine a change in the drug law. I'm de no, no, John, that's not what's happening. What I'm doing is I'm demonstrating consensus. I'm further demonstrating that these politicians are completely out of touch. They are irrelevant, but until the revolution, this is the system that we will be using. But in effect, you are actually doing the government's work for them because the very people you're saying don't vote, young people, that's mm -hmm. who you were talking to specifically, yes, yes, right? Yes, Okay. Not talking those, to all people, actually. No, no, those are the people, people those are the people who are suffering the cuts. They're the people, for example, whose educational maintenance grant, which made all the difference to going to school please, uh, for 16-year-olds, they're don't cutting that. John, okay, my, now, my, if, the, if these young man, people were voting... John, absolutely not. I refuse to be drawn on this subject. You know better than anybody that parliamentary democracy does not represent people. What they offer is piecemeal change. I'm saying people deserve more. If, if democracy was truly representative, then the one million people march against the Iraq war would have meant there wasn't an illegal war in Iraq. I think... There was an illegal war in Iraq. So don't tell me that politics works. I'm saying let's form consensus. No, I'm not, not let's bring people you, together. I'm not telling you anything. Together. I'm not telling you anything. I'm Please trying, don't. I'm trying to strip down what telling Standing people... on the television. No, I'm trying to strip... Tell me before we're on. <laughs> and I'm, then... try, I'm trying to strip down uh -huh. what you are trying to tell people. On the one hand, you're saying don't vote. Yes. And on the other hand, you're saying sign up to this petition yeah. so those people for whom you will not vote will make a decision. Well, this is, John, this is going to be no, a that process. That doesn't make any sense. Please, John, what is important? What doesn't make sense? Do you regret telling people no. not to vote? No. Stop. Look, listen, you. Let me talk. What doesn't make sense are the current laws around, dr around drugs in this country, which means people are unnecessarily dying and a disease is being stigmatised. See, see this psychedelic place behind me? I wish what? it was psychedelic, John, because what? I think some ayahuasca might what? elevate their consciousness. What, Russell Brand, what is your... Give me a picture of what you would like to see. Just a tell me what... A truly representative well, do, a democracy how would, would What would that look people. like? What it would look a lot like that, John. It would be a lovely psychedelic building. John, please, again, No, no, mate. no, 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 but what do you want to see? 
How, how would you, how would decisions be made? Please let me ask you. Is there a distinction between pointing out that they're in, in one... I'm here to talk about the issue around yes. drugs. In countries like Portugal and Switzerland, where they have reformed their drug laws, people are not dying of this disease in such huge numbers. Crime is dropping. HIV infection is dropping. That's important. That's more important than you, an entertainer, getting me, another entertainer, to cook up a wacky version of politics so you can make me look a bit daft because no, I'm no. passionate and I no, care. No, but it seems to me if you no, want mate. to demolish no, one mate. thing... No, mate, I'm talking about... But yes. if you want to demolish one thing, surely you have to give a vision of what it is you'd actually like to yes, see in its yes. place. Yes, yes, and this will be a process. It will be a process and it won't just come from me i'm just what i'm talking about, i'm talking about a different system that isn't about just different david cameron or me or anyone turning up on the telly shouting their mouth off there are very serious floods in this country sure. and a lot of people think it's about climate change but a lot of politicians yeah. don't think it's about climate change That's don't right. want to think it's about climate mm -hmm. change so the question is do you believe in climate change? Do you think that's what's happening? I think the climate's changed, and I think there's a lot of evidence from scientists, and I think there's a lot of a work and effort going into suppressing that information so that energy companies can continue think, to operate the way they do are. Do you think there's human involvement? In, in what in sense? In of changing course. the climate? Yes, I do, actually. Yeah. But, I mean, like, again, I'm not an expert on climate so, change, but Naomi Klein is, and she thinks it, and she believes in it, and that's, like, that's enough for me. And she's saying that nothing's going to happen around climate change and the way that we use energy on our planet unless people protest and unless people en masse get involved. Like, so, like, you, in a way, asking me to devise so all the solutions... In an odd sort of way, she's a, coming up with a different solution to the one that you're coming up with drugs. Drugs, you're talking about a petition to try and raise awareness and try and get yes. a commitment. She's talking about actual direct action on the streets. And I think the direct action on the streets is probably the best way to get things changed in every area. However, because it seemed apposite... But you actually used the example of the Iraq war. It had no effect at all. Right, yeah, that's, that's true, John. So obviously these protests need to become more vehement, more active, more direct. They need to change, they need to evolve. But the, the options aren't, let's do something or let's, let, let's do nothing. In, let's in your journey from drug addiction, have you concluded in the end that you're a revolutionary? <laughs> no, no, it's a fair question. Do you want a revolution? You know I do. You know I do. That's the reason that I'm here. First of all, I want a revolution in the way that we regard addiction as a disease, the way we legislate it, the way we treat drug addicts. But further than that, I want to address global inequality around economics, and we need to find some suitable ecological solutions around energy. Russell Brand, thank you for talking to us. See you after the break, John. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. Still here. And tomorrow night... You can see the next instalment of our series on the challenges facing the under-25s.